negative 5 minus 3. Negative 5 minus 3. Ugh! I just don't get it! It's driving me crazy! I got it when we were adding, now we're subtracting, and I'm totally lost. Ugh, I just don't get it. I need some help. Oh, who are you? I'm Matthew. My friends call me Matt. Well, hi, Matt. I'm Nate. Nate, pleasure's mine. Seems like you're having problems subtracting integers. Uh, big time problems. I could do it when we were adding integers, but the subtracting is driving me nuts. What if I told you we could change that subtraction into an addition problem? I would think that was awesome, but it's subtraction. Here, use this. I'm going to show you how in three steps we can change that subtraction into an addition problem. That would be awesome! Are you ready? I am ready! Good! Step one, the first number is going to remain as is. So if it's negative five, the first number, it's going to stay negative five? That's it! I'll write it down. Step two, we're going to change the operation to its opposite. So our, our, our operation is subtraction, so I'm going to use the opposite of subtraction and do addition. That is also correct. God, this isn't so bad. It's fun. Now, the third and final step, you're going to write the opposite of the second number. Well, the second number is 3, so the opposite of 3 is negative 3. Ha! Negative 3. Well, that's easy. Negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. Well, that's not so bad. No, not at all. So what were those three steps that we did? First one is the first number remains as is. First number remains as is. Second, change the operation to its opposite. Change the operation to its opposite. And the third one is write the opposite of the second number. Write the opposite of the second number. Yes. Oh, if there's just a catchy way to remember those three steps. The first number remains as is. Change the operation to its opposite. Write the opposite of the second number. And that's how you subtract integers. I think it will help. Awesome. Thank you. Wolfman!